Hey, Adam with Productivity Academy here. I recorded a video earlier in the year where I was showing a little bit about the reader beta, which I have absolutely loved. Huge fan of Readwise, been using them for years now and absolutely love it. And Reader is no different. But what I wanted to do before doing a really big updated video was go ahead and share what I had recorded earlier. Now, I felt bad. I recorded the video and then I wasn't able to share it because at that time we weren't supposed to share anything and I forgot couldn't share it. But I wanted to get this out now that they're allowing us to share. And I'm really excited about that as they're going to be expanding the program and they're happy with where things are at and they want to be, uh, people to go ahead and be sharing uh, information about Reader and what it is and how it looks and how it operates. So with that said, just wanted to give you a little bit of an intro. Enjoy the video. I will be uh, sharing an update and hopefully in the coming weeks here, I'm dealing with moving across the country, tons of other stuff going on, but do want to share with you, this is an incredibly powerful tool for anyone who consumes uh, media, especially written articles online. And if you already know about Readwise, or even if you don't, you should probably still check this out. So let's get into it. Today, I was just writing out the newsletter and was like, ah, I haven't really talked to anybody about the Readwise or Reader uh, closed beta. So this, if you're not familiar with Readwise, first of all, go check it out. Um, I'll link down below to the video of how I use Readwise and how annotating and highlighting um, is important for what I read and how that kind of information flow works. So I'm going to assume uh, that you already know that or uh, you're at least familiar with that idea. If not, again, you can check out that video for a little bit uh, a deeper explanation. Um, but what happened here was they um, came up with the closed beta for a read it later program, which you're seeing it in the background here. Luck, been lucky enough to be using this uh, for a few months and it is just been awesome. So uh, for examples, uh, and I don't want to say that these are exactly the same, but what a lot of people might know is um, Instapaper or Pocket, uh, some of the kind of legacy products in the space. But this has been really nice, right? I've just got a browser extension. I just click on that auto imports articles in. Um, that I can then go in and start looking, uh, start looking at, start highlighting, start annotating. Um, and as you can see, it's a really clean interface. And because this is part of Readwise, uh, what's going on after that is if I highlight something, it adds it as a highlight in Readwise, which means it goes wherever I need it to go. I have it connected to, in my case, that's uh, usually Roam. Um, but of course, it also connects to Notion, uh, uh, Evernote, and I'm sure there's some others. Uh, so right now, this is great. There's been a bunch of new updates, which is really nice. So you can add RSS feeds, um, which it handles in a different kind of inbox, if you will, which is nice because this is like really curated. You've clicked a button, you want it in here, but you can then subscribe to feeds where you may not want to have every article in your face all the time, but you still want to keep uh, tabs on maybe those, those websites or those authors. Um, also, you've got articles and emails because you can forward emails into here uh, as well as uh, they give you a unique address. So you could subscribe directly um, to, uh, to a newsletter, for example, if you just didn't want it going into your inbox, but it's something you want to check out. They've added PDF support, uh, which is great. You can see over here coming soon, uh, books, tweets, uh, like full Twitter threads, podcasts, and videos. Um, so this has just been, been really good. So real quick, um, let's go in here and take a look um, at an article I haven't looked at yet. So they do have uh, ways you can clean up uh, the interface, which is really nice. And you can also use the button uh, arrow buttons to navigate, which is really nice. Um, so for example, here you can just press H and get a highlight if you want the whole thing. Or if you want part of a paragraph, you can just click on that and then, for example, add a note if you want that. And if you want to delete it, you just remove it. But the um, the hot or short keys, short codes, yeah. uh, make it really easy to move around. I'm not like some super uh, keyboard power user, but this stuff is really nice. Uh, makes it really easy to go through and use, uh, to, or sorry, to go through and review an article and really uh, get through it uh, quickly or as quickly as you need to, right? You don't want to just fly through it. But if there's something in there you just want to get to, makes this uh, really nice. So I'm gonna keep it pretty short today. Just wanted to put out a quick update on this. Really looking forward to this. Again, if you haven't, uh, for some reason, started using Readwise, go check it out. Uh, great tool, great team, and really looking forward to uh, where this is going.